Hey everybody, so today I'm going to explain match case statements in Python. If you're familiar with other programming languages, this is also known as a switch. Match case statements are alternatives to using many else if statements. We execute some code if a value matches a case. The benefits of using a match case statement is that they're cleaner and the syntax is more readable. In this sample program, I have a function. There is one parameter, a day. Day will be a number, ideally a number 1 through 7. Depending on this number, we'll return a string corresponding to the day of the week. If day equals 1, then it is Sunday. 2, it is Monday, all the way up to 7, where it will be Saturday. I do have an else clause if we pass in something that's not valid, like pizza. Pizza is not a day, but it really should be. Not a valid day. A cleaner and more readable alternative is to use a match case statement instead of many else if statements. Here's how. I'm going to take my if and many else if statements and enclose them within a match case. Match case. The case is going to be the value we're examining. The case will be day. Colon. We're going to examine our value of day against matching cases. We're going to replace if day equals with the following, just simply case. So let's do that with each of these statements. If you have an else clause, you're instead going to have a case of underscore. An underscore in a match case statement is a wild card. We will perform this case if there are no matching cases. This case would function as the else statement. Here's what we're working with now. If I pass in one and return the day of the week, we would get Sunday. Two would be Monday. Three, Tuesday. Seven, is Saturday, and then let's try that day of pizza. That is not a valid day. A match case statement is an alternative to using many else if statements. I find this much easier to read than the many else if statements. Both would technically function. Let's go over a second example. We will create a function of is weekend. We have to pass in a day. This time our day is going to be a string such as Monday. The value for each case instead of a number is going to be a string. If our day matches a case of Sunday, let's return, how about a boolean of true? We're checking to see if it's the weekend. If our day is equal to a case of Monday, then we will return false. Let's do this with the other days. I'm going to fast forward the video. We will call the function of is weekend, then pass in a day of the week, such as Monday. So is Sunday the weekend? That is true. Monday, that is false. Saturday, that is true. And we do have a wild card case if there are no matches. Is pizza a day of the weekend? That is false. There is a way we can modify this match case too. We tend to be repeating ourselves a lot. The days Monday through Friday all return false. We're going to use the or logical operator which is represented with a vertical bar. If the case of Saturday or Sunday return true, if the case is Monday or Tuesday, we can get rid of that, or Wednesday, or Thursday, or Friday, 
then we will return false. We can keep our wildcard case. So is Saturday part of the weekend? That is true. Is Monday false? Sunday true. Friday false and pizza. We have our wildcard case. That gives us false. All right, everybody, so those are match case statements. They're similar to switches in other programming languages. They're an alternative to using many else if statements. We execute some code if a value matches a case. The benefits is that the code is cleaner and the syntax is more readable. And well, everybody, those are match case statements in Python.